Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm with Isabel, and we're gonna be doing a rock paper scissors um, entree beverage challenge. Challenge. <laughs> oh my god. So we're basically gonna play rock paper scissors, and whoever wins gets to choose the place we get to go to. So first, we actually start with drinks. Yes. Okay. So okay, we're gonna guys. So we're gonna start with drinks. So me and Isabel are gonna play rock paper scissors, and whoever wins gets to choose where we get a drink from. So let's get started. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let me think about where I want to drink. Alright guys, so I thought about where I want to get my drink. I want to go to Panera because I love the lemonade from over there. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll the see The green tea is also good. Yes. So we'll see you guys when we're over okay, there. guys. So we just got to Panera and I think I'm going to order either a lemonade or the green tea. I think I'm going to order the green tea. So I'm feeling yeah. we're fresh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll let you guys know once we order and then we'll show you guys our drinks. Okay, y'all, so we just got our drinks, so let's try them out. Um, so I, I got, got the, oh, here you go. <laughs> I got the um, green tea. And I got the lemonade. So, how's your green tea? Refreshing. Let's see. <laughs> Hold on, the lemonade's good. It always hits from here. I love the lemonade from here. But I like the green tea more than the lemonade, but. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, next is appetizers. Yes. Okay, guys, so we had a little camera malfunction, but rock, paper, scissors for appetizers next. <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> so I got you again. So, um, okay, Chick fil A fries or Epic Wings breadsticks? Mm. <laughs> I think breadsticks. Breadsticks? What about you? I'm thinking breadsticks too. That's what yeah. I was thinking at first, but then I thought fries. But okay, so we're gonna do Epic Wings breadsticks. So we'll see y'all when we're over. Okay, guys, so we just got here to Epic Wings. So we're gonna go get our wings with ranch. <laughs> Wait, we're not getting wings, we're getting breadsticks. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get our breadsticks with ranch and we'll be back when we get them. We just got our breadsticks and ranch. So before we eat our breadsticks, we wanna add a little bit of pizzazz to the vlog so we're gonna talk about <laughs> we're gonna give our three biggest icks of guys that we've been with in the past i think hers are gonna be a lot more interesting but mine aren't really about the past mine are just like in general icks. but hers are definitely so i'll start with one when they are the same height as me uh -uh. no Okay, so for my first one, when we go on dates, we go eat dinner, you know, it's cutesy little places, but they don't want anything serious, and we're just friends. Yeah, that's not a good one. No. Another one would be when he doesn't play sports. Like, if he's not athletic, I don't want it. Like, no, no, no. Okay, my second one, when I post them, tag them, waiting for a repost, then they take my phone and delete it because, because here's the reasoning, because they don't want their little friends that are girls to see. That's definitely a no-no. Like, no. Just no. Yeah. And then my last one would be when he talks to a lot of girls. Like, he has hoes. Yeah. Like, no. That's ugly. I don't waste my time. My third one is when they lie where they're at, but you have your friend's location and you know that they're together, so you see exactly where they're at, so they can never get caught up lying. Exactly. So don't lie. Yeah, don't lie. Don't lie to Ali. Don't lie to anyone. Don't lie to Oli ever. Just don't lie in general. Don't lie to girls. We yeah. will find out. One way or another. But anyways, let's eat these breadsticks. Here's the breadsticks. Ranch. So, we got our ranch. Here, go. Ready? I'm gonna rip mine. Mmm. Epic Wings breadsticks. Always hit the spot. Always hit the spot. Best appetizer. Literally so good. And with ranch. If you've never got Epic Wings breadsticks, go get them. But ranch. They're so the good. Best, 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 best. And they're not even that expensive. They're not that bad. They're pretty good. So yeah, I definitely recommend these, but um, next, I think we have our entree. So, rock, paper, scissors. 
Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> you have to win a round. I'm gonna give this her one. This is crazy. I'm gonna give her one, okay? So we're gonna try again, because I can't be witty all of them. Okay, okay. Okay. Entree. Um. <clears throat> A sushi roll, okay, or a Chick Fil A sandwich. I'm down for either. Mm, I don't know. I'm not that hungry, and I'm not that hungry either. Um, we'll decide. Yeah, we'll be back. All right, we're here with our entrees. So we ended yes. up choosing Chick Fil A. We got Chick Fil A sandwiches, no pickles, the French, of course. And for this section, we're going to do a little story time. So I'm going to yes. start. Um. So I'm going to tell you guys a little story time about my old job, a little situation that happened. So I used to work at this hotel, mind you, it's only four stories, so you can imagine how small it is. And how, like, you always run into the same people, you're always, like, you know, you familiarize, like, you gain these connections with people, <laughs> right? Um, so I'm entering, and they're telling me, yeah, like, we have a lot of business people, a lot of people that come for work, you know. Um, now we have our military guest. And I was like, that's fantastic. Um, so I'm usually like the later shifts. Like I would go to school in the morning and then I would go like 4 to 11, 5 to 11, shifts like that. It would be really rare that I would work in the morning. Long story short, this one of our clients, um, got drunk. And so he came up to the front desk and I was only one at the front desk at the moment. My, my, um, co-worker was on break. But when she came back, I was literally freaking out because I was so new. So I was like, I, I don't know what he needs. Like, you know, and then he was just flirting with me. And I was like, this is unusual. And then I knew that there was cameras. So I was kind of like freaking out because I was new to the job, you know. Um, long story short, we ended up meeting and we got really close. Um, then one day I'm at work. It's some beautiful morning. And it was actually a few days after my birthday. Um, so I pick up the phone and they ask me about that client and I was really concerned because it was a woman that was asking and I was like and they were like how long have you been seeing my husband and I was like that's crazy <laughs> that's wow very and because he had told me that he was divorced and he did have kids though so he did have in communication with her because of the kids but literally that's all and that they didn't live together like you know all these lies that i believed um so then that call ended up going to my manager and she was like i need you to transfer me to your manager like asap blah 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 and i told my coworker, my blood pressure went down my like i literally froze i was like this is insane like this is crazy like what what like I was I didn't even care at that point like obviously like I was really a home wrecker but I didn't know this like if I would have known like if I would have known all of this like this wouldn't have happened yeah. but not only that but it was like my job and it was a really good paying job I was doing great you know and I had just started so that made things even worse um but yeah long story short I did end up getting released the next day, <laughs> literally the next day, because um, I got called back in for investigation that they were going to check the cameras, that this and that, and this and that, and um, nothing really, they didn't really find anything on the cameras, like, no, it was nothing like that, it was just the fact that this woman was calling about her husband, and that I was interacting with one of the guests, and we're not supposed to do that, like, we're not supposed to, like, you know, yeah, gain connections, but, like, well, like, keep it professional, and because of that, and I guess their investigation literally only lasted, like, 24 hours, because the next day, they released me, unfortunately, and later, they also released my friend who was working there, because the same situation happened, so, more of the story, um, keep your job life, your job life, and your personal life, your personal life. Do not mix them. Exactly. Ever. But yeah, yeah, that was just a little crazy little era of my life. But yeah. Alright. So. Olympia's turn. Um, mine's not as crazy, but I'm gonna give you all a little story time. It's a little paranormal story time. So, this is about my grandma's house. So, I never knew this until around like three four months ago 
but I was always scared of this house. Like, there's a hallway in this house. It's creepy. The bathroom, even creepier. The main room, even creepier. But it's scary. I've always been kind of scared. Never thought anything of it, but I always was always scared. So one day, I'm at my aunt's house, and we're talking. We're on the couch, and my aunt, mind you, lived there her whole life. So I'm at her house, and we're talking, and she's like, have you ever got scared? Like, do you believe in ghosts? And I'm like, well, kind of, but I've never really been in that sort of interaction, so not really. And she's like, oh, well, it's because I've always been scared of my house when I was a little girl. And I was like, no way. You were scared of that house? I'm scared of it, too. That's she's crazy. like, yeah. My mom, when she first bought the house, I think, was laying down in bed and looks next to her and sees a man laying down but not on the bed floating laying down okay and she thought oh i'm dreaming this and this she goes next door tells the neighbor mind you this neighbor is scary one day i went to her house with my aunt actually we took her cookies because she was really elderly and the rocking chair is rocking no one's sitting in the rocking chair and she points to the rocking chair and she's like oh it's my brother say hi and we're freaking out we're little girls and like we me and my sister and my cousin look at each other and we're like what the heck so yeah that's the neighbor she goes to obviously she's a lot younger at the time and she goes to the neighbor and she's like the weirdest thing just happened to me i saw a tall man laying next to me she described the way he looks i don't know obviously but she described him and the lady said oh that's the guy that used to live there you perfectly described him and long story short, I guess, they blessed the house and nothing else ever happened. But it's still scary because my aunt always said that she always felt like paranormal activity in the house. But I asked my dad and he said he never felt anything. But recently he did have to go stay in the house to take care of his sister and a painting fell. So... Yeah, he told me if I wanted to go with him, I obviously said no. But yeah, I'd still go to the house, just not at night. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's a little scary. story. But yeah, we have our chicken sandwiches, and we're gonna go ahead and enjoy those. Okay, and now we're gonna do our dessert. So yeah, we're gonna so. do rock paper scissors. Let's see if you win on your own. Oh, she won. she won. Okay, where do you want to um, go? Um, dessert. I'm thinking. Mm, <laughs> I'm thinking, like these little like waffles with like um Nutella and ice cream. I know exactly that's... where you're thinking. Ice cream? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. That sounds fun. And then yeah. maybe we can go somewhere over there. Yeah. 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 Okay, that sounds super fun. We'll see you over there. Ice cream ones are so good. They're bombs. But we'll okay, see you guys. guys. We made it to Eskimo. We're gonna yes. go get our desserts now. Okay. So. All right, guys. So we just got back from Eskimo. We got we got our fishies. They're Nutella filled. Like they taste like kind of like waffles with Nutella. Yeah. They're really really good. I really recommend. Yeah, they come out pretty hot. So we're gonna tell you guys a little story about, or not a little story. We're just gonna tell you guys about um, vacations we've been on together and what our favorite was. So I think we can both agree that our favorite was Europe. Most definitely, yeah. Because yeah. Because not only did we visit a lot of places in Europe, um, we were well, we were there for a good time, like around like three, four weeks, and we went with our family and our cousins. So it was like a good like twenty five or thirty of us. Yeah. And honestly, it was a really good experience. We got to experience a lot of different new places. Yes. Um, the most beautiful places that I would say we went to were the churches, the Van, the yeah. Vatican. Vatican. Um, that was really pretty. Um, my yeah. favorite part of Rome was, I mean, in Europe, was, um, definitely Barcelona. I really love Barcelona. I, I love the language, like, their accents in general. Like, if we were, if I would be able to go again, um, and just go to one place, I would definitely choose Barcelona. Yeah, I also really like Milan. Yeah, Milan was It was, was like a port pretty. from the Disney yeah. Cruise. Um, it was like a port. We were only there for a little bit, but the beach was beautiful. The shopping... Even yeah, more beautiful. We went to um this little like rural place, and it was kind of like I felt like it was like 
like i don't know it was like an experience where like you have to be there to experience it like it's yeah. hard to explain but it was like the floor was like um like it wasn't cement it was like i want to say like, like bricks kind of like i don't know like it was just so like it was really aesthetic yes. and it felt like like we were back in time how like things used to be back then and how like yeah everything really was cool. just so like yeah and the tour guides were awesome as well yeah they were but um another trip that we went on this one was actually really fun because i literally just tagged along with them because my dad he had um something for work mm -hmm. in out in florida so we went to Disney World. Um, I just tagged along with them. Yeah, it was really fun. Super fun. It, it was honestly one of, I think that one's probably second favorite that we went together. Because it was really fun. Yeah. Um, it was uh, my second time going to Disney World. Yeah. But I definitely experienced this one um, more because the first time I went, I was little, so I don't really remember that much. But this one was really fun because, you know, you're like, you're, I'm older, so like I get to experience different things. And I yeah. saw how familiar, I mean, how similar it was to Disneyland, especially Magic Kingdom. But just seeing like the different parks and just like experience it like at a different age, it was just like really cool. Yeah, I'm a huge Disney fan. I've been to Disney World quite a couple of times because my dad does work out in Florida sometimes. But it was my first time going back after COVID. So it was really cool to experience Disney again because I'm a huge Disney fan. Um, we love Disney cruises as well. We do. We love Disney in this family. Yes. And then another trip was our... Um, or Disney Cabo. Cruise. Yeah, Cabo. another Disney cruise, and it was to Cabo. But this one was a Halloween edition. Yeah. So that was really fun because every day was different um, ex activities and stuff throughout the cruise with, like, related to, like, Halloween. Yeah. And so I remember once one of the events was, like, playing bingo in, like, our costumes. And, like, yes. we all dressed up as princesses, which is really cool. I had red hair at the time. <laughs> crazy, I know. So I was Ariel. Yeah. And she was. I was Rapunzel. Yeah. yeah. And then her sister was Belle. No, she was Snow White. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was Snow White. Someone was Wait, Belle. I was Belle. Yeah, you were Belle. I was not Rapunzel. I was yeah. Rapunzel for, for Halloween, Halloween. But yeah. I was Belle on the cruise. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that, actually. I was like, oh someone was Belle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was Belle. But it was really fun. And then another one of the days was, like, pirate night. So we were, like, outside and there was yeah. fireworks. And we all just looked as pirates, which was really cool. So there's a lot of different, like, costumes and a lot of different stuff. The food was really good. Food is awesome. Um, the entertainment was really cool. We did karaoke. Which was really fun. So, I yeah. think it was really fun to experience this one because, I mean, we were older. It wasn't that yeah. far or that long ago. So we were older, so we were able to do, like, all the activities. They were really fun. Yeah. But we've also been on several Disneyland trips together. I'm an annual pass holder, and they come a lot to Disney. So we've been on several Disney trips, like, over the years. Yeah. But I, I would say that was that's, like, our most, like, frequent, like, place to go, Disneyland yeah, together. Disneyland. We love Disneyland. Yeah. Um, and Universal, like, once in a while, but mostly yeah. Disneyland, yeah. I remember I went to Universal out of Florida, <coughs> too. But what we are most excited for, this is probably going to be one of the funnest trips, I think. Yeah. I'm most really definitely. excited. Um, it's going to be Alaska. We're yeah. going on a Disney cruise Again, in Alaska. To Alaska. This is um, one of the cruises I've heard, like, are one of the nicest cruises. Like, people love this one the most. So I'm yeah. excited. I've actually been to Canada, but... Um, I feel like it just experience it in a Disney cruise is just so different because, yeah. like, I feel like it's two different trips. Like, you're going on the Disney cruise, you're seeing, like, the ocean, you're doing the different activities, and then when you get off the port, like, you're experiencing different places. Yeah, you're experiencing different places of the yeah. world, which is really I'm cool. I'm so excited for this trip, and it's going to be crazy because yeah. we're in summer, but it's going to be cold. It's going to be winter over there. So, like, yeah. that's crazy. We're going to be all warm taking our uggs yeah literally in july <laughs> literally but yeah that's so exciting so are you ready to try this yes there you go i'm gonna go ahead and try mine this as what they well look like. they're cute i'm gonna break a little piece off me too mm. so good they're so good oh my god all right those are so good but we will be back once we finish these. So yeah. Okay. Hi guys, we're back. <laughs> yeah, those were really good, honestly. Delicioso. And for a little spice, we're going to do a rock paper scissors again, but this time it's gonna be for a store, a little yes. shopping moment. Yes. Because why not? Yes. Why not? Why not? It's barely six, almost seven, but yes. Yeah. Why not? So we're gonna play rock paper scissors and see where we go. 
talk to Paper Scissors Shoot. <laughs> Paper Scissors Shoot. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm thinking Target. Yes. Yes? I want to okay. go to Target. Valentine's Target. Day section. Target, we love. So I love every day. We're going to go to All Target, day. and we'll see you guys when we're over there. Okay, y'all. So we just got to Target, and we're in, like, the scrubs shower section. So we're going to see what we... um see what we see i guess um we'll let y'all know we're gonna get yeah um ale got starbucks okay yes all right so let's it's not go. a target run without starbucks exactly so we're gonna look at the stuff um let's see what they have in the tree hut section oh my god <laughs> so right off the bat i see the scrubs they're super cute. I have that one, I think. Or wait, no, I have the mango. But I want, I want to get another one, but I'm not sure which one. Okay, you guys, so this is like the Valentine's Day section, like with all the treats and stuff. Everything's so cute, oh my gosh. And then there's more stuff over here. The single Lindors are so cute. I'm gonna get some for Ale for Valentine's Day. Okay, y'all, so we're making little Valentine's baskets. This one's for my sister, this one's for my mom, and then Ale's making one for my friend, this one. And I'm thinking of getting her this one too. It's like a little disco, she loves like disco stuff, like disco balls. It's like a little cup and it's like a heart shape. It's super cute. Yeah, but then I also got her this mug, so I'm not sure. Everything's so cute. Yeah. So yeah, we'll get back to you and we'll give you a haul. Hey guys, so we are back from Target. And we got cutesy little um, like gift baskets yes. for our loved ones. So Olympia got made a basket for her mom and her sister. Yes. And I made one for one of my closest friends. And who wants to start? I guess I'll start because okay. mine's like smaller kind of. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I'm putting for my sister. So for my sister, I have this little Hello Kitty tumbler and it has like candy inside. It's so cute. It has like a little straw and the lid is so cute. So that's that. And then I got her this little chocolate bar. It's so adorable. It's like a little chocolate bar and like it has like a dollar bill on it or like a bill on it. And she really likes um, Willy Wonka. So it kind of reminded me of that. And then I got her these sour punches right here. And then for my mom, I got her this hair clip. It's so cute. It's like a bow and it's adorable. And I got her this little chocolate thingy. And then a hair bow. Um, gummies because she really likes those and then a true foo little packet and then this is the basket that it came in there's three baskets the baskets are so cute okay so for my friend i got her the same bow because she loves bows um i got her a little pocket and it says bff on it then i got her a face mask um next she loves disco balls so i got her like a disco like That's so cup cute. and it's like a heart shape and her favorite color is purple going with the purple theme i got her scrunchie and then i got her a little mirror compact mirror for like her purse it's a heart shape too it's really cute um next i got her this really cute mug she loves coffee and it just has like little hearts and i love the detailing how it's like so simple but cute um next i got her this planner like it shows like like um it's like the same thing like every day but it just shows like habits and like what what you did and like just explaining about your day but like written down and it says overthinking and she overthinks a lot i mean we all yes. do but she literally says the word overthinking at least once a day so i thought that was really cute yeah that's um really cute. and then finally i got her this little keychain for her keys and it says self club love uh, i mean self love club <laughs> um and it has this like little like pink um fluffy thing and then this is the basket that i got her that's super cute yeah and that's all so yeah that's our little target haul um but yeah we'll come back oh i also got her these <laughs> <laughs> i also got her these oh those are yeah. cute too I, I was like i was missing something i think my favorite yeah. thing I, that we got them was yeah the, the bows they're so we cute. wanted them for ourselves but we we're like yeah mm, no. <laughs> we're giving them away we're being yeah. nice but yeah that's our target haul y'all so that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you for coming on to my channel it was so much fun it was a of long course. day but it was very fun so thank you all for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and turn on those mo post notifications for new videos so see y'all next time bye guys